Hey guys, it's Tara from 40 Below Fruity and in this video I'm going to talk about why I found it was so important for my journey and for other people who are living a raw food lifestyle to treat ourselves and not create rigid rules that we have to adhere to. Hey guys, I'm at lunch right now with my beautiful friend Colette. We're at the raw food restaurant. It's a cold, rainy day, so we're getting some hearty, delicious food. It's uh, it's not that difficult to eat raw food in the winter when it's cold and rainy like today. You just have to, you know, if you have a raw food restaurant, go there. Have something that's a little bit of a treat, like we're doing this, something that's a little bit more elaborate or heavier, so you feel a little warmer on days like today. Cool. I know, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got our food. Colette, what did you get? You got some combination here that's like the glory bowl. Kale. Lots of good stuff. That's my size of bowl too. That's a good. That's a good size of bowl. <laughs> and then I got a uh, C plus juice here, which is turmeric, ginger, orange, and carrot, and then uh, a wrap. And this is their new. Uh, I think it was called an Italian meatball wrap. Okay, so there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about today because you see that I now treat myself, that I go to raw food restaurants and sometimes I eat gourmet raw or I eat more fat than I usually do in a day or sometimes I have salt and I just don't have rigid rules that I adhere to on a raw food lifestyle anymore. When I first started 80-10-10, I wanted so badly to do it all properly, so I followed all of the rules. But over time, I found that following all those rigid and, rigid and strict rules that said don't eat cacao, don't ever eat salt, never go above 10% fat, all these rules that were created for the lifestyle, I found that it le led for me to binging because I wanted to rebel against the rules. And when I ate really, really low fat and never treated myself and never ate different raw foods other than strict fruits and vegetables, and for a long time I didn't even eat nuts and seeds, it led me to these binges where I would want to eat something a little bit heavier and I would go completely out of control. So I'd sit down and I'd eat like two pounds of nuts because I never allowed myself to have them. So when I finally did have them, I had this lack mentality, this scarcity mentality, where because I didn't allow myself to eat them regularly, I would sit down and eat as much as I possibly could because I knew instinctively that the next day I wouldn't allow myself to eat those foods again. And my perspective has completely changed over the last couple of years of eating raw to the point where now I treat myself regularly and I never have these binges anymore because I never feel like I'm not allowed to eat something. And honestly, I feel this is so important for people coming to a raw food lifestyle to feel like they have uh, guidelines instead of strict rules that they have to adhere to or they're not going to be inducted into the raw food club. I feel like treating myself and allowing myself to eat nuts and seeds and salt on occasion it just makes me feel like this isn't a restrictive lifestyle because there are so many different ways to live a raw food lifestyle it is not a one-size-fits-all thing and these are just my thoughts on it but as I'm looking out the window right now it's cold and rainy and sometimes when you live in a climate like this you need to eat a little bit differently than those people who live in I don't know Hawaii or Australia totally different climate and our bodies adapt to this lifestyle in a completely different way I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic now do you live in a cold climate and if you do do you find that treating yourself and eating foods that are a little bit heavier in the winter helps you live a raw food lifestyle so that's definitely what I've noticed over the years anyways I hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe if you want to see more videos about the raw food lifestyle self-love minimalism activism and nature appreciation and I will catch you guys next time